Okay, we got some huge news, a new Shadow Legendary, new Shadow Shinies, and the number one Pokemon returns with this new event. The Taken Over event is coming to Pokemon Go. It starts on March 27th and ends on March 31st, so kind of quick. First things first, save Shadow Groudon. We have a new Shadow Legendary in the game, Shadow Groudon, and that's gonna be incredibly awesome. It's gonna look dope, it's gonna be useful, cannot wait. Last month-ish, we got Shadow Kyogre, so we were expecting this, but it's finally here. Here's my Shadow Kyogre. It's a 904 CP IVs on it were not bad honestly 15 attack can't really complain I'll take it it's gonna be available through a special research story where you have to go battle Giovanni as usual the shiny shadow will not be available but it's gonna be available for this next thing shadow Mewtwo returns ladies and gentlemen the number one Pokemon in this entire game overall we all know Mewtwo's the goat and the shadow version is coming back and it's shiny eligible it's gonna be in raids during the last weekend of March March 30th and March 31st this is an opportunity you you cannot miss. Now remember these shadow raids are in person only so make sure you guys coordinate with your local community with some friends with some family and get some raids done because it's the greatest shiny shadow out there it's the greatest Pokemon out there you gotta make it happen you can't miss it. Here's my one and only shiny shadow Mewtwo if you guys haven't seen that adventure it was absolutely insane I think I did cry during that video it was just a lot going on it took me all weekend to get the finally got a shiny shadow Mewtwo and it's a 96% IV shiny shadow Mewtwo I mean this is literally a walking shundo if I wanted to be. Some people say this is the best Pokemon in my entire account, and it's hard to argue. Shiny Shadow Mewtwo. Why haven't I 50 maxed this? I gotta do that. I gotta do that. Maybe I'll do it at the end of the month, but anyways. But that's not the only Shadow Shiny opportunity. So the Team Rocket leaders, Sierra Cliff and Arlo, are actually gonna have different Shadow Pokemon. So we're already gonna get a change up from the current pool, which I feel like was super soon. It's a little inconsistent how long these rotations take, but whatever. In addition, we're also gonna get some new Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Pidgey, Shadow Darmaka, Shadow Gothita, and Shadow Solosis, and Ladies and gentlemen, they can be shiny shadow eligible. Shadow, shiny Pidgey in the family, Darumaka in the family, Gothita in the family, Solosis in the family. That is hype. That is like 10 new shiny shadows right there. I love it. Loki, this is one of the best like shadow takeover events they've ever done. But with the way they're wording it, I don't think any of those Pokemon are gonna be the leader's Pokemon. So we're gonna get something else for that. We'll see. And this is great too. I almost forgot. In 12 kilometer eggs, we have a Larvitar, Sandile, Ponyard, Vullaby, Dino, Pancham, Salandit, and Varum. Same 12 kilometer eggs what we've had for like 15 years now but shiny sandile is making its debut in the game a beautiful shiny a great shiny family one i've been wanting forever because i hatch sandiles all the gosh darn time so that is hype cannot wait for that a new shiny in the game new shiny fam it's gonna be awesome now for shadow raids in one stars we have shadow drowsy polywag barboach and fungus drowsy and polywag can be shiny that's nice and in three star raids shadow hitmontop wobbuffet and sneasel shadow sneasel can be shiny it's a great shiny shadow it's a useful shadow pokemon so that'll be a good raid there's also gonna be field research that's gonna give components charge tms fast tms and event themed pokemon nice bonuses for this event team go rocket is gonna appear more frequently obviously and the number one bonus of the entire pokemon go universe you can use the charge tm to help remove frustration from your shadow pokemon our first opportunity to use it on our shadow kyogres and all the other shadow pokemon we've got recently so make sure you do it here are the spawns for this event we have murkrow sableye purloin scraggy in Okay, and if you're lucky, another Zerua based event. Zerua, Vullaby, and Dino. Love to see that. I love that they're making Zerua more available. I mean, it's still very, very difficult to get, but the fact that they're including it in events is amazing because it's such a good shiny. And obviously, hunting for Zerua is always a ton of fun. Those encounters are always so crazy to see, but that's not it. There's also going to be timed resource throughout this event to earn encounters with event themed Pokemon and more. There's going to be showcases, and there's a paid time research for $2. You can get six mysterious components, which is equal equal to one rocket radar, a super incubator, a rocket radar, and an encounter with Ponyard. There's probably gonna be some other goodies in there as well. Sounds a little whatever, definitely not necessary. I'll be getting it so I can cover it, but I wouldn't stress on missing out. For those of you hunting for the new shadow shinies and whatnot, there's gonna be a rocket bundle in the web store. For $10, we can get seven radars, seven raid passes, seven ultra balls, and seven silver pineapps. That's actually a good deal. I'll be doing that because I wanna hunt for those new shadow shinies. And we got a bundle in the store and a new avatar pose. Is that a new avatar pose where they're just throwing the ball up and down? I thought we had that already. Whatever. An absolutely stacked event. There's honestly way too much going on. We have new shiny shadows, new leader Pokemon, Shadow Mewtwo, Shadow Groudon, new shiny Sandile, Frustration. This is stacked to the brim. Probably arguably the greatest Team Rocket event we've had yet. Let me know what you guys are most excited for in the comments down below. But speaking of 12 kilometer eggs, I did hatch some 12 kilometer eggs earlier. I hatched a Ponyard, not shiny. I hatched a Pancham, also not shiny. And I hatched a Sand. 
sand isle. I also hatched two 10 kilometer eggs where I hatched a carbink and I hatched a gumi. I have not checked IVs on any of those hatches right there. Unfortunately, obviously, they were not shiny. So let's check them out all together right here, right now. Carbink, 808, two star. It's a rare hatch though. Gumi's a three star. I'll take that. I need those candies. Ponyard, three star. Pancham, two star. And Salandit is a male and a two star. So that's worthless. That could have been better, but also check this timing out. I have one, two, two kilometer eggs and four five kilometer eggs going down right here, right now. Let's get something good. First two kilometer egg, Togepi. I'm glad we're hatching eggs right now because I did want to talk about that today. There's a chunk. I got a little bit of complaining to do five kilometer Skrelp. Another five kilometer egg, Palmy. Need candies for that, I guess. We got another one inbound. There's a Rog and Rolla. And I think this is our final egg right here. It's another Skrelp. GG's on the hatches. Let's see if we got anything. Togepi, three star. Palmy, three star. Two star Skrelp. Two star Rog and Rolla. Three star Skrelp. And a two star Lechonk. Okay. Anyway, so I did want to talk about some eggs really quick because as we know, the Horizons event just ended and I had a great event overall. Honestly, truly a amazing event. You guys might've seen, I got a wild shiny Charizard. I got the new shiny Pikachu. I got a couple hundos. I hatched a shiny, a lot of good stuff. But you know what I didn't do? I didn't get the new Char Cadet in Pokemon Go. I hatched so many eggs, bro. You guys saw a lot of them. You guys probably saw like 20, 30, 40, 50. I don't even know how many. I did so many more off camera, never got the char cadet. After all those eggs, all those opportunities, absolutely nothing, man. That was that was disgusting. The featured Pokemon, the new Pokemon, the featured Pokemon of the event, the best opportunity to get it, and I couldn't get it, bro. Let me know in the comments if you guys got char cadets. I absolutely failed that part of that event. Not happy about it at all. Because now it's stuck in 10 kilometer eggs in honestly the second tier of rarity. So it's not gonna be impossible, but it's gonna be hard. I just know it is. I was just let down. I hatched so many eggs that I can't believe I didn't get a single one. Whatever. Anyways, we have our new event, the Weather Week event, starting in our next adventure. That should be fun. And speaking of which, this happened a little bit early. Check out the showcases that are live right now. You can get cast form showcases. So we're gonna go ahead and enter one right here right now and get a rank one cast form. Heck yes. Now, I don't know if this cast form is gonna stay a rank one. Hopefully it does. It's got 1,006 points. That's pretty good. It might be able to stick it out. Hopefully we can make it happen. And funny enough, I was gonna talk about this. I actually got another rank one cast form earlier today so i got two rank ones going for me right now very happy about it hopefully they last because i need that pikachu and now there's one last piece of news that i want to talk about because i'm so happy about it another quality of life update has dropped in pokemon go and it's very useful it saves us a lot of time and it's live for everybody i'm pretty sure in your inventory such as this shundo kyoga for example if you scroll down we have a swap buddies button oh my gosh you just click swap buddies you click yes and you swap buddies you don't need to go into your buddy tab and click this and go find it and do that it's just two two or three clicks and uh you swap your buddy easy as that for somebody that loves to work on their buddy friendship and whatnot this is a life saver a time saver because let's say i want to go back to dialga i scroll down i hit swap buddies bada bing bada boom we're good huge update for me personally i know a lot of you guys are happy about it as well this is big for me another quality of life update in Pokemon Go. We appreciate that. They've been dropping so many of them. Every week, I feel like we're getting something new. And again, I am so happy. It's been an incredible start to 2024 for myself personally, but just for Pokemon Go in general, man. I feel like things are on a roll. There's exciting news all the time. There's new updates. There's new Pokemon. It's awesome. But like I said, it's been a crazy year for me. If you guys haven't seen some of the recent adventures, we've had some amazing luck. I don't know what is going on. It's been a lot of fun. Check them out.